over the formula with you here. The area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. Now apothem, what does that mean? Well apothem, what that is, is it's the perpendicular distance, okay, from the center of the polygon to one of the sides, okay? So when you drop this perpendicular here, okay, it's gonna be at a right angle, and it's also gonna bisect that side. It's gonna cut it in half. Now what's a regular polygon? Well, regular just means that all the sides are gonna be the same length, they're congruent, and all the angles are also gonna be congruent. So that's what they talk about when they talk about a regular polygon. It's what we think of when we think of a, a pentagon, a hexagon, and so on. It's very symmetric, okay, because all the sides and all the angles are congruent. But the question is, is how do we find the area? Let's look at a couple examples and I'll show you how this works. So we're gonna write down our formula. Area equals one half apothem times perimeter. Okay, now the apothem in this problem they gave us, they said it was four. Okay, it's that perpendicular distance to the side. And if you look at this, you can divide these uh, regular polygons up into triangles. And what some students will do is they'll just find the area of one of these triangles and then multiply by how many that you have. That's another way to solve the problem. The perimeter now, we have to find the length of one of these sides, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out what this central angle is. And the way you do that is you take 360 degrees divided by the number of sides or the number of angles. You can see the number of triangles that are formed here, there's gonna be five. So 360 divided by five is 72 degrees. Now when you drop the perpendicular, it's gonna bisect that angle, so each of these is gonna be 36 degrees. Okay, so I'll just bring that triangle out here so it's a little bit bigger so we can see it. Okay, that's 36 right there. This is a right angle, this is four, and we wanna find out what this side is here. Let's just call it uh, X. So we're gonna use our, some trigonometry. The opposite over adjacent is the tangent, so we've got the tangent of 36 degrees equals X divided by four, and if we multiply both sides by four, we get the length of the side. So let's just go to the calculator and do that real quick. So the four times tangent of 36 is, four tan 36 comes out to about 2.9. Okay, so this is 2.9, which is right here. This is also 2.9, so that's 5.8. Now if we multiply 5.8 times five, okay, let's do that real quick, 5.8 times five, that comes out to 29. So the perimeter is 29. And so now we've got it. So the area of the regular polygon is gonna be one half times four, which is two, times 29 is 58 units squared. So that's the entire area there. So let's go to the next one. The next one we're gonna do, it's a hexagon. So before we get into this problem, I just wanted to give a quick um, shout out about the video course I have for the math portion of the ACT. So if you're studying for the ACT and you wanna boost your score and you're in the math section, uh, I go through 21 concept areas that are covered on the test that are um, gonna really uh, boost your score. So if you haven't scored that well before, check out that video course. It could be something that could uh, really be a benefit to you. But let's get into this next problem. So the next problem, um, where they're giving us the side length. See over here they gave us the apothem. So when they give you the side length, we need to find that apothem, okay, which is right here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to divide this up into triangles, just like we did the last one. So we're gonna divide it up, okay, like so. And what we need to do is we need to find uh, the perimeter. So let's find the perimeter first. So we've got one half, the perimeter is gonna be 10 times six, so that's gonna be 60. Okay, now for the apothem, we need to find out what the central angle is for each of these triangles, right? So we're gonna take 360 divided by six, since you can see we have six triangles, so that's gonna be 60. Okay, and then when we drop that apothem right here, this is gonna split this angle in half. So each of these guys is gonna be 30 degrees, and so that means this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Also, when you drop the apothem, it's gonna bisect the side, so each of these is gonna be five, okay? And we can use our special right triangles because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is gonna be five. This side here, the apothem is gonna be five square root of three. And then uh, over here, this would be uh, 10, right? Okay, so that's it, so we got it. So it's five root three. And if we multiply all that out, what do we get? Half of 60 is 30, times five is 150, so we get 150 square root of three units squared is gonna be the area of this hexagon. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, check out some of my future videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, I'll talk to you soon.